tuning in. Hello, hello, hello. For all you boxing junkies like myself. So, uh, Andrade, show up, stand like a champion. Or Williams, you know, just under hype, underrated. That's what I, that's how I look at this fight. I really don't see uh, anything wrong with Demetrius' performance. You know, it's it's not like are, are, are we asking him to what finish Liam Williams? Are we asking him to go out of who he is? You know, he's he's not a dominant finisher. He knocks you down, and he clearly out out points you. He gets you an easy victory. If he finish you, okay, nice, but. That's not who he is. He's just a dominating boxer. And Williams got dominated. This was <laughs> this was Andrade's Madonna. You know? Floyd got a lot of shit for the Madonna fight. Some say he lost that fight. And no one's saying Andrade lost this fight. This he's getting a lot of shit for it. And it's like, hey. Motherfucker came to fight. You know, this was a number one ranked person for a reason. This is why you have rankings. This is what a mandatory challenge is supposed to be, right? It just we we're not giving him credit. Now, I thought I picked knockout, given Williams was going to be a, a tough fight, but I just thought. Demetrius Andrade was going to show up and just, hey, take it to him and just do it. But it's not the Demetrius Andrade fought. The motherfucker was throwing. He was throwing him. Williams was taking him. Took every fucking thing on the chin. Now, if you if you want to pick something about us in this fight, we saw what we thought we were going to saw. See, Liam Williams come forward, hard jab, uh, pressure with the feet. And just come, come, come. We, we we knew that. We saw that. We got it. We, we were like, damn. We didn't. I sure in the hell didn't think he was gonna take that many fucking shots. I sure in the hell did not think Liam Williams was gonna take that many shots. I thought he would have been out. And as far as Demetrius, what, what what can you fault at that performance? Punch selection was nice. You know, where. Can you criticize him going lead uppercut? Sure, it's it's, it's not uh, the law of the boxing gods, but for his arsenal, for what he does, it's, it's part of his weaponry that he knows how to mix in. The punch was landing fucking all night, doing damage. So the punch selection was there. Um, the ring general shit was definitely there. Um, he even got rocked, and you know he knew to hold. So the survival tactic of getting rocked was there it's it's like what more can you want a champion to show you did, did he have a gas tank issue that wasn't new you know, ever since Demetrius Andre uh, got the got the belt and kind of got that zone deal he's been trying to like throw bombs to kind of become that because people are saying his fights were born so he starts throwing he starts just swinging hard as fuck now that shit's gonna tire you out. Going all fucking 12, throwing like that, moving like that, you know? People grabbing him, playing the defense. So, what can you, I can't say a damn thing wrong about Demetrius Andrade's performance. Whether you wanna rank Liam Williams high or not, it's, that's you. And, like I said, if, if you're one though, if you're one of the people in the crowd that says something wrong with that form performance, I can't do it. Because I rank Liam Williams high. I rank him high. Um, he, like, if you wanna say the champions are only the A's, fine. They're the only A fighters that get it. And I always say on this channel, the B fighters are the, you know, the silver champions. Liam Williams is I want to say there is some probably he's going to give that type of fight to a lot of a lot of the champions I think, and I do believe um, he's he's better than domestically world level. We go to Spain, he's probably going to beat the best in Spain. You go to a fucking Argentina, I think he'd beat the best in Argentina. Go to Russia, 
Russians usually have good fighters, but I, I'm willing to say he's going to hold his own and win over there as well. So he 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 was a mandatory. This is a good ass performance. Like I think the world or the boxing fans that's kind of talking down on trying to perform some questioning it is just underrated. Williams. I said I only picked knockout because I thought. Demetrius Andre was just gonna do it, <laughs> man. I didn't think the fucking chin was gonna hold up like that. And like I said, if you want to say one flaw, like it, it could have been more body shots because obviously they were controlling Williams when he did throw. Like instead of all those uppercuts to the head, maybe throw some of them to the stomach or something. But and I think that I would think, but man, in the angle camp. Homeboy had an engine like no other. You know, we all know Williams has an engine. That was another question, but I didn't know he was going to take that many fucking hits, man. <laughs> Last time I saw just a fucking machine like that was Rocky Four. <laughs> the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for your time and support. I'm ready. You're ready. We're just talking boxing. That was a good ass performance, good ass fight. That's why I didn't want to see it. That's why I said I love that fight. Actually, I said I hate that fight because I love it so much. But you hate to see Liam Williams lose on that type of performance. And if you're a Demetrius Andre fan, you would hate to see him lose. Because you saw in the last, it looked like he was starting to get a little woozy, a little tired, right? And... Who knows? Like I said, he looked like he could last. He looked like he knew what to do. But when your body's tired and fatigued, sometimes that hit will let you know you're too damn tired. So it looked like one of those hits could have came, right? So maybe if Demetrius Andrade slows down the, the home run derby swings, uh, he won't have that problem. The WRT Boxing Show. Thank you for your time and support.